Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect, starting with the Tabernacle of David. All right, as well as the large multitude, the rest of the men, women, and children, whom the Lord will have mercy on. All right, that body makes up the remnant, whom the Lord, okay, is coming to deliver his elect. All right, very, very soon. All right, got a few more prophecies, and ultimately the Heavenly Father is going to send his son to put order in the earth, because uh, that's what this earth uh, lacks is order. Now, I was... um watching a live show by uh, elder apostle ramla uh the other day and uh he was you know responding to this video done by the elder apostle tahar um with this dude ron dalton um he's a guy who just popped up i believe he did a documentary um but when you go into his doctrine you'll find all sorts of holes and he's uh, preaching a played out doctrine that um, the so-called white man are descendants of the seed of Japhet. Okay. Now, if you don't know who Japhet is. Okay. Shem, Ham. These are Noah's sons. Okay. When you get Genesis uh, 5 and 32. It says, and Noah was 500 years old and Noah begat Shem, Shem. Ham and Japhet, all right? These are the three sons, all right, in which uh, through Noah, all right, and they all had wives, repopulated the earth after the flood, okay? And, yeah, all of these uh, children come from Noah, all right? But the chosen seed came through Shem. Now, we understand that when you go down in prophecy, Okay, and when you go down into the scriptures, Genesis, the 25th chapter, all right, brings forth the story of Jacob and Esau, all right? The truth is that Esau actually comes out of Shem, okay? Now, they, using science and various different arguments, say that's impossible, and they say that the so-called white man is actually a son, a uh, descendant of Japhet, okay? Um, now... The, their their reasoning is that how can a lot of them, you know, a lot of them that teach that doctrine, one of the main things they say is how can a so-called white boy and a so-called black boy come out of the, the, the stomach or the loins of one man, okay? And we'll touch on, on that, all right? And they'll say, well, how can one be black and one be white, right? Now, those same niggas... All right. Are telling you that Noah, who was a so-called black man and, and all of those women were melanated women, had Shem, Ham and Japhet. All right. Yet Japhet was somehow just the so-called white boy. You see, but that, that, that they are able to say that. But then us bring, breaking down the, 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 you know, prophecies and going into Jacob and Esau and proving, you know, that and it's various prophecies, man that lean towards the fact that the so-called white man is the Edomite. And at the end of the day, there is no prophetic scriptures dealing with Japhet and end time prophecy. Now you ask this guy, are we at the end? Now he's, I believe he did a documentary and his thing is this great awakening and you know, the, the, the tribes are waking up now in that same token, if we're going to, if we believe that, then we have to go by biblical prophecy. What, what, what nation would be, in rulership at the time that the Israelites awaken, who's uh, what captivity were they awaken in? Well, according to the scriptures, that captivity is Babylon the Great. Okay, that's the the major final captivity. And when you go into the scriptures, okay, we'll get into some uh, things. When you go into the scriptures, this is Lamentation four and twenty one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Okay, daughter of Babylon, daughter of Edom, daughter of the Chaldeans. All right. That dwelleth in the land of us. All right. And and one thing that the elder apostle uh, Ramlab in his response harped on is that the way that this the scriptures is, if you don't have the spirit, then you're not going to get it because you'll, you'll either take something too literal 
or you 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 won't know when to apply the spirit. All right, because it's basically you have to have the key. The the the, the your doors have to be open. You have to have access, man, to the Holy Spirit, which is a gift, which is so, something that has to be given unto you. And a lot of men don't have it. And here it is in 2020. They're teaching doctrines that don't match up with prophecy. Where can we go into the prophetic scriptures that are very prevalent to now and find the Japhetic people ruling over the Israelites and ruling the whole world? Now, when you go into prophecy, there's only two nations that were uh, uh, slated to rule the whole entire planet Earth. Now, you had particular uh, rulers, you know, that ruled regions in the Earth, right? But what nation was promised to rule the whole entire planet Earth that would be uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. Those are the only two nations that would have a world domination, world rulership. You see, and Esau is just about at the end of his. Now, this is Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. And that's what's happening to you devils, man. Okay, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, the Israelites, okay, the Lord's monument. He's remembered us. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Who? The Edomites. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And when did that happen? It's happening now. And this is saying that the Israelites' captivity okay will be accomplished and finished through the edomites so if we're at the end okay the 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 edomites are the one that should be ruling this babylon the great this spiritual egypt the the the, the main enemies of the israelites okay now have them uh, um as their possession okay nowhere do you see japhet linked to end time prophecy show it to me because we can go into DNA and all of these things all you want, which that that's proven to be false. See, if you're not going by the scriptures, by the spirit, then you're a stumbling block, man. All right. You have to uh, compare spiritual things with spiritual and you have to link up what's happening now to what the scripture said will be happening. Who rules the earth right now? OK, we know it's the, 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 the so-called white man. So show me. In the scriptures where it said the Japhetic people would have a world domination. You can't do it. Furthermore, using some of your arguments, okay, how in the hell did Japhet just end up white if you're going to use the argument that out of Isaac and Rebekah, the so-called white child couldn't come? Now, when dealing with that, okay, let's go to Genesis 25 because they ask, you know, questions, but they don't apply the spirit. You know, they don't have the spirit. You see, they're they're asking, you know, how can Isaac have, all right, both uh, a good and evil? All right, well, how did not Adam? Let's go Genesis, uh, Genesis, uh, the fourth chapter. Genesis 4 and 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And again, she bare his brother Abel. Now, was not Cain known as the wicked one? Okay. Uh, 1 John 3 and 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, all right, and slew his brother. Okay. And wherefore slew him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. So you had this narrative with Adam. He had both righteous and wicked come out of his loins. Why? Because he's the alpha and he's the omega. All things come of this particular spirit whom the Lord formed. Okay. Both good and evil come of, all right, the most high, but on the earth started with Adam. Okay. Started with Adam, the, the, the wicked seed line, which did wickedness in the earth. The, the 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 family line of Cain came out of Adam and the uh the uh righteous seed line the sons of God went through Adam through Abel and then Seth you see so we've seen this narrative before in the scriptures man and through the spirit we believe that uh 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 
Cain, that wicked spirit that was in Cain, returned. Okay, after the flood, eventually it returned through the biblical Edomites, man. Who came at the time that Isaac, okay, was on the scene. All right? So, going back to your, uh, your argument, how can both wicked and righteous come out of, 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 of Isaac? Well, it came out of Adam. All right? And if you understood who Adam and Isaac was, you wouldn't be questioning that. But you don't have the spirit. For the story's sake, good and evil seed had to be in the earth, all right, to play out prophecy, okay? You had that fourth beast spoken of that will rise, okay, and then that other little horn. There had to be people on the earth to fulfill that wicked, all right, uh, uh, deed, okay? And they just so happened, okay, to both come out of the loins of Isaac, man, okay? Just like at the time of Adam all right, you had uh, 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 Abel slew, uh, uh, Cain slew Abel, and on down the line, you know, they're making weapons, and you know, they were mass murdering and doing the same thing that the Edomites was doing. That line was birthed in the earth through Adam for that purpose, man, so that good and evil can be established in the earth. As a matter of fact, let's get that in Isaiah, the 45th chapter. Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness i make peace and create evil i the lord do all these things and how does he do all of these things through his only begotten son okay through his, through his only begotten son man you see and was not adam the son of god okay this is uh colossians 1 okay in in 15 man i start at 13 who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom he have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins who was the image of the invisible creature the firstborn of every creature okay <laughs> he's the firstborn of every creature man and he was firstborn in the heavens all right now amongst men adam all right was the firstborn all right the first to actually live and receive the instructions all right that would lead to everlasting life okay it says for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities Okay, or powers, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and by him all things consist. Okay, it's the head of the church. He is the head of the body, the church. Okay, who is the, the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence, man. Now, this is the book of Sirach the 33rd chapter in the 10th verse and all men are from the ground and adam was created of the earth and much knowledge have he had divided them and made their ways diverse some of them hath he blessed and exalted and some of them hath he sanctified and set near himself but some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places that's you edomites Okay, going all the way back to the curse of the serpent. He said you would be the lowest of low. You would crawl on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life. Meaning of the of the beast of the field, of the of the human race, you would be the lowest of the low. And you're sitting in the dust where you belong. You're being exposed for being that low man. Okay? As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, okay? Just like a movie director, man. Okay, he actually has to cast and, you know, pick somebody where well, the Lord formed what he wanted. Okay. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render them as liketh him best. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Good is set against evil, man. So when we go back to Genesis 25 and 21, we're reading about Isaac, 
okay, who through Rebecca had Jacob and Esau, all right, just as Adam had Cain and Abel, all right, which turned out to be two different nations. So you can't say we're bugged out for teaching that it happened through uh, uh, Isaac with Jacob and Esau. And if you understand reincarnation, those spirits would eventually come back, man. And East and Cain came back, all right, through uh, the Edomites, man. Okay? So that the purpose of righteous and wicked can play out in the earth. And it all goes back, all right, to Adam, all right, and Isaac. All right, ultimately, it all goes back to Yahweh Shai, man. He's the beginning of all things, man, whether it be in heaven and earth. Every every person on this earth, all right, uh, uh, goes back to Adam, okay? But it would be through Noah, which was a descendant of Adam, who had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the Lord is able to, of the, the same man, have particular different seeds come out of them and put different spirits and lots and blessings on them, man. And that's what he did. And all nations were chose to be what they would be from the foundation of the earth, man. So the Lord wins, man. You all just have a problem with, with, with the Lord's program and platform, man. And then you want to jump to Esau science and you make yourself to look like a damn fool, man. We don't need science. Esau science. The true science is in the scriptures, man. All we have to do is go by the, the, the prophecies, use the Holy Spirit, and go into the, the scriptures, man. Yeah, we can go into secular history and things. And they all point to the fact that this man is the Edomite. The Romans were Edomites. The Greeks were Edomites. Okay? And we've been at it with this nation since the womb, man. Okay? And even going back to Cain and Abel, man. Where where do you see that hatred in the scriptures between Japhet and, and Jacob? Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. All right. Showing you that there were twins in her womb. All right. In this case, it was paternal twins. They weren't identical twins. We'll get into that a little bit. And she said, because some people say it's impossible that two nations could come out of the same man and woman. Well, first of all, you don't understand the power of Yahweh Bashimi Shai. First of all, it's two nations because he said so, because the scripture says. So second of all, the Lord, okay, can send a spirit, okay, and one uh, uh, a child and a spirit in the other for his purpose if he wants to. You see? So the children are struggling within her because these are the 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 two most important characters. One, you know, would have a blessing, you know, of, of world domination for a short amount of time. One through the fall of this one would rule the earth forever, you know, under Yahushai. So they're fighting already. They're two opposing spirits. This is how the Heavenly Father gets down. You got a problem with that? And he did it through Isaac, which means laughter. The Lord has the last laugh. <laughs> it's, it's his program, man. And the, chil the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, two different nationalities. Now, is that possible? Absolutely is possible, man. Okay? Now, let's get this uh, video done by this brother, Lamad, I believe that's his name. It's called, there were twins in her womb. There's a difference between, all right, paternal twins and maternal twins anyway. But we're, we're going to show you something real quick. Larry Rand. I'm a high-risk obstetrician or perinatologist, and I specialize in complicated pregnancies, particularly complicated twin pregnancies. When you hear that you're having twins, 
the very first piece of information you want to know, after congratulations, of course, is what the number of placentas is. Are there also two placentas? Or is there just one placenta that both twins need to share? The word chorion in Latin means placenta. So when each twin has its own placenta, that's a dichorionic twin pregnancy. If both twins need to share a single placenta, that's a monochorionic twin pregnancy. This takes us back to the very beginning because there are two ways that you can end up with twins. The first is that you actually ovulated two eggs and each egg is fertilized by a sperm. That means you're going to end up experiencing basically two pregnancies in one uterus at the same time. We call this fraternal twins because they're really two siblings, two genetically different eggs at the same time. They can both be boys, they can both be girls, or they can be one of each. Importantly, because they start out as two entities, they each have their own amniotic sac, their own placenta, and basically are just experiencing crowding in the uterus at the same time. And there you have it, all right? And the brother's page uh, who loaded this video, uh, GMS Hopeful Elect, make sure you subscribe to the brother's page so that you can be edified, all right? GMS Hopeful Elect. Now, as you can see, it's possible, man. And the Heavenly Father, like I said, he could put the spirit on one and another, all right, for the purpose of his pleasure and what, uh, uh, as we read, all right, did not we just read that? <laughs> all right, as the uh, Sirach chapter 33 and 13, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render them all right, to them as liketh him best, okay? That, and that same sentiment is in Romans, the uh, ninth chapter, man, okay? And we can always go into the prophecies, too, and that kills anything you're saying about it because Japheth ain't there in prophecy. But Esau and Jacob is a, is, a, is, a, is a very, 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 very important narrative in the scriptures, man. And Esau's end would be the beginning of Jacob's kingdom. So if we're at the end, Esau should be ruling, right? It makes, it, 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 it's, it's simple, man. <laughs> this is Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, man. And when you get Genesis, the 25th chapter, okay, before they were even born, okay, as a matter of fact, let's get that. That's really what I wanted, man. Romans 9 and 10. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, because he's talking to the Israelites, okay? For the children yet being born, neither having done neither good or evil, okay? That the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand. And who was chosen of the two? And you have this clown who goes on Black uh, News 203 or whatever the hell it is with Sonetta. Okay, Soul Beat, whatever the hell that show called. That played out back to Africa shit. But the dude, he always talks about how he left the Hebrew Israelite. Which you, you're still an Israelite. You're just a lost Israelite. Because he didn't understand, he he never got his questions answered. And one of his questions was, why would the Most High uh, 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 make Esau evil and then judge him for it? Or why would he side with Jacob when Jacob is the one, according to the story, that stole the blessing? Well, the blessing was always Jacob, all right? But the, the way that the Lord wrote it, because he loves drama... Is that this is how Jacob is going to get the blessing to add suspense to make the story more, uh, you know, intriguing, man. Because Esau's hurt behind that. And look at what he's doing in, in, in for that, you know, going back to that blessing, man. <laughs> he is hurt, man. Okay. He still got lentils in his back teeth from when the, the lentils Jacob gave him. You know, he brushed his teeth. He mad. And he wants his blessing. And, and it, was, it was never his. It was given to Jacob from the foundation of the earth. But for, for the story's sake, this is how the Heavenly Father wanted it to go down, man. 
But the children being not yet born, neither having done good or evil, okay, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. And he made Esau evil. He, he made him the wicked, not of works, but of him that call it. This is what the, the heavenly father wanted to be done. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Who came out first? The Edomite. You're going to eventually serve the Israelites. It's written in the blessing for Jacob. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see, the Lord hates Esau. What then shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Now a carnal man, a carnal man will say that's unrighteous. He will say the most high is wrong. It's an unfair. All right. But for, to us who understand the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai and his will, you know, only a nigga would run from being chosen. How the hell you go choose me? That's Jake's my, uh, MO. You know, they're afraid to be great to the point he'll, you'll run to a gray area as black consciousness. Okay. And, 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 and brush off the, uh, the blessing, man. That's coming to the Israelites. But that's a nigga for you, man. <laughs> man. There's no unrighteousness with God for doing that, man. Now I'm going to jump to verse 17 because he's talking about Jacob and Esau. But then he says in verse 17. All right, so lock you. The scripture said. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that I my, my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And this is why he's raised you Edomites up. Okay, but it all goes back, okay, uh, to Adam who had Cain and Abel, and then eventually on through the line, okay, you have Abraham, then you had Isaac, okay, Abraham was given a blessing. Okay, he was blessed by Melchizedek, became friends of the Most High. You know, uh, uh, um, he had a son, and, and that legacy was passed through Isaac. Okay, Isaac had Jacob and Esau. <laughs> so he raised you Edomites up, and you were born for this very purpose of what was getting ready to happen so that you your rulership can be destroyed. The fourth beast. Would Japheth rule the fourth beast? When you get Daniel the the seventh chapter. Okay. When you get Daniel the seventh chapter, this fourth beast that will rule. Okay, this this fourth beast. In Daniel seven and seven. The fourth beast, all right, which is speaking of the Roman Empire, okay, but then when you read it, there came up out of that fourth beast another little horn, okay, through this little horn, okay, through this rulership, that will be the return of the Lord. So Japheth runs this rulership, Japheth rules this little horn. Show me that in prophecy, because we know. The final uh, 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 rulership is Babylon the Great. Okay? Where, where Can we tie Esau, Edom to the daughter of Babylon? Various scriptures. Uh, Psalms 137, Isaiah 47. Okay? Isaiah 47 is speaking of the daughter of Babylon. And when you get down, it says, Thou shall be as the stubble. Well, doesn't it say that to, in Obadiah? Jeremiah uh, uh, 49, Jeremiah 50, they all link Esau, Edom with the daughter of Babylon because that is the nation that would rule the daughter of Babylon. So you Edomites have been raised up for this very purpose, man. Now, how bad it is, you come, it all, you both come out of Isaac. Okay? So you were raised up like Pharaoh was raised up. For this purpose, man, that the, the works of the power and that the, the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, might be declared throughout all the earth, man. 
Therefore, he hath mercy on whom he will have mercy, and he will and who he harden it, he harden it. Man, let's look at this word, harden it. Like he hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and then Pharaoh was judged for it. You got a problem with the will of the Lord? This is his movie. Only a nigga questions the the move the 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 writer of of real life, but doesn't qu question, you know, the writer of New Jack City or whatever the hell, uh, uh, Black Panther. Or whatever the hell movie to get out, you know, why 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 she rubbed the the, the spoon in the cup, you know why couldn't it be Kool Aid? Ain't that tight, you know? Why tea? Niggas don't drink tea. Boy, a nigga will find a way, man. Strong's G forty six forty five, scleruno, scleruno. All right. To make hard, to harden, metaphorically, to render, to obstinate, to make stubborn, to be hardened, to become obstinate, okay, which basically is stubborn, okay, difficult, stubborn. So the Lord made Pharaoh stubborn. The Lord made you Edomites stubborn. The Lord made you Edomites to hate us, man, okay, stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion. They're going to be the wicked. You're not going to stop, make, which is uh, crooked straight, man. I didn't even plan on going into all of this, but it's all a spirit, man. Nay, but, O oh man, uh, uh, verse 19, thou will say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? But nay, O oh man. Who art thou that repliest against the Most High? Shall the thing formed of him that uh, 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 formed it? All right. Say unto him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Okay. And we and we read that the Lord hath blessed some and exalted them and set near unto himself. All right. And he hath cursed some and brought them low. So the Lord can do that. And he's justified because he wrote the story. You're still subject to it. No matter how much you want to say, ain't no God, ain't this, you still a subject to day and night. You still, you still need water. Okay? You still shit. You're still subject to prophecy. Your ass got a mask on. Romans 9 In 21, have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel to honor and the other unto dishonor? What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? You see that? And he's long suffering. He, 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 he allowed him to have his rulership. But he's a, he's a vessel fitted for destruction, Esau. So the Most High brought these two nations on the earth for a very, very serious work to be done in the earth, man. I had this one, Sirach 42 and 21. He hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished, and he hath need of in any counsel the lord don't need you niggas to say what he can and can't do okay uh, uh try to change the new song here it is we at the end and you still talking about jaffet the white man is jaffet because and you know why you niggas do that because you you're afraid of this man you're afraid to stand in, in great boldness of the man who has done the most in 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 most in, atrocious things into you and your nation your forefathers and has tried to destroy you and eviscerate and he tried to do it as Cain as well Cain tried to commit genocide he tried to get the seed of righteous out of the earth at one he hates you he is clean contrary to your, you and your ways man and we're clean contrary to him and his ways but you niggas want to sit here and pity pat with this man 
This man is ruling the earth. He's getting ready to put a chip in every damn body. He's trying to. He's trying. He's gonna try to put a chip in every damn body. He's talking about putting vaxes in every damn body. He got all of these pedophile rings. He rules this modern day Babylon. But all. But but, but somehow that's Jaffet. Let's just type in Jaffet. Jaffet is in the scriptures. A total of 11 times. Right? Japheth is in the scripture 11 times. Esau. We're going to go do Esau and Edom. Now there may be a few other words that are associated with different nations. Of Japheth. But Japheth. We typed in Japheth 11 times. Esau. Edom. No, I put them both. Esau, 90 times. 90 times. Esau, 90 times. Edom, eighty-seven. So that has to account for something, man. Edomites, 13 times. And David, when David got his rulership, he rejoiced over the Edomites, the Moabites, the uh, the 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 Hamites. Where is this intensified hatred between Japheth and Jacob in the scriptures, man? So the Lord don't need a counselor, man. Oh, how desirable! Are all his works, all right, Sirach 42 and 22, and that a man may see even to a spark, all things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. All of them are obedient, okay, including the wicked. All things are double one against another, and he have made nothing imperfect. Okay, and it's funny how you niggas always make the argument that they come out of us. The white man come out of us. They, they're a recessive gene. But then we bring out Jacob and Esau and we're bugged out of our minds. Boy, the, 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 the nerve of a nigga, man, in 2020 at that. One thing establishes the good of another and who shall be filled with beholding his glory. So... Esau established the good of Jacob because through Esau we would see the most wicked and decrepit rulership, but it would be a world rulership that the earth has ever seen. He, the beast system, right? But through Jacob, all right, we're going to uh, understand the need for wisdom and righteousness, was, which was given unto that nation, man. The, the, the Israelites, all right? And Jacob... And Esau were the only two nations told that they will rule the fatness of the earth in a dew of heaven from above. And we know Esau is the end of the world. Don't say Japheth is the end of the world. Y'all, y'all something else, man. So this is a played out doctrine, man. Genesis 25 and 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And we just showed you that that's possible, man. Okay? The one people shall be stronger than the other. So where's the equality? I thought all men were created equal. And the elders shall serve the younger, man. See, we got to get this Edomite philosophy, this, this Western hemisphere, all of these lies out of the way. Which is all bullshit anyway, because at the, at the end of the day, they don't treat nobody equal, man. Even some people of their own kind, they, they don't treat equal, man. So this man is a damn liar, man. But you Israelites are afraid to take on the blessing of Heavenly Father. He said you would be stronger. He said you were complete. You had everything that it took. Gave you the blessing, you know, gave you the priesthood, gave you everything, man. And you, you, you figuring out a way to rebel. 
The one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elders shall serve the younger. So two different nationalities were in her womb. And they were made two different nationalities by the spirit that was placed upon them, man. Okay, and those 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 spirits, that spirit of Esau came back from it was came, but it came back for the purpose of the Lord's work, man. Just as at the time of Adam, you know, Cain's family line would doing wickedness you also had the sons of god all right uh, uh you know to the best of their ability upholding the ways of righteousness man enoch was one of them cain's family line was in the earth what do you think he had to be delivered from you see so the heavenly father created jacob and esau two different nations okay and one thing we notice he mentions the color of Esau that he would be red. And this man is red because his blood shows forth through all right, his skin. He's the red man. Okay? And he would be red. The red dragon, okay, was, was the Roman Empire when you get a, a, a Revelation, the 12th chapter. I just typed in GMS, who is Japheth, you know? You have uh, various videos, man. You know, GMS brothers. I don't I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who that is, but Japheth doesn't mean beautiful. Esau is Japheth doctrine destroyed. That's a good one, I remember that. That's those London brothers. Um Right, that's a good point. He said is Japheth the elder? Um, who is Japhet today with scriptures? Who is Japhet? Um, so there's there's various scriptures, man. I mean, uh, videos, man. You know. That's why when you go to um. And this is Elder Apostle Ramlov. He did a series on it. You know, who is Japhet? So it's it's it's, it's, it's videos out there. You know, if you want to get into that but i just wanted to you know sort of touch on the you know um point you know that you know both righteous and wicked you know two different nations can come out of one man you know you're not questioning you know uh adam having two different nations but you question isaac having two different nations coming out of him you know but if you understand who that is he's the beginning of all things man and the lord did mighty mighty works you know for the purpose of prophecy all started with him in the heavens and on the earth man <laughs> so you know with that you know hopefully i will edify it don't give all praise to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rachah double honors to the apostles and elders a great millstone peace and salutation unto the elect shalom